What's up world, Ronaldo with All-in-One Property Management. Today we are in Pleasantville, New Jersey, starting a bathroom remodel. This one is a lot of work, so without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Prep work is the most important step in any renovation, any construction remodeling. If you take the time to prep work, you take care of people's personal property, you take care of their home as if it was yours, the job will go nice and smooth. You'll see. I sweat as we, like, profuse. remodel job and it has anything to do with demo if you're close to water pipes I really highly suggest the first thing you do after you do your prep work before you start demoing breaking anything going into the walls is to shut your water off um, in this instinct um, we have a uh, well water so he has a pump in the crawl space so what we're gonna do is just shut it off from the main uh, circuit breaker that's gonna go ahead and shut the pump off. We're gonna go ahead and turn all the water lines on, let it all run out, empty out the tank, and then we're good to go. Um, if you decide to skip that step, and one of your guys decides to put a hammer, a new guy, it's okay, it happens. A new guy puts a, a hammer through the drywall, it, hit one, it hits one of the old copper rusted pipes, you're done. It's just, gonna, it's just a, a, a catastrophe, really. So, shut it off. If you don't have it through the panel, usually you can find it underneath your crawl space or um, somewhere outside there's a shutoff valve um, or worst case scenario if you want to hurry up and just shut like the uh the hot water off uh, you can go to your water tank um, but i highly suggest you shut your water off before any demo when um four by twelve marble subway towels all up through the walls top and bottom and then we're gonna do a nice I'm gonna do a nice shower this year. The fixtures are gonna be black because we're going with like a black and white concept. The floor is actually gonna be a really nice design. It has like arrows, squares, um, a cross. Um, it's a pattern floor. It's gonna look really, 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 really nice. I mean, obviously, brand new vanity, light fixture, um, paint, new toilet. This wall's coming out. But yeah, man, let's get rocking and rolling. There's a technique behind it. A lot of guys like to try to get into itty bitty pieces. I try to minimize the dust, the debris that's being kicked around, um, you know, storing it into the truck. I want to just, you know, account for all of that. I like to literally take this bit when I connect it to the hammer drill and go right up each seam. And what's crazy about this floor obviously wasn't installed correctly. This is continuous seam. The durability, the stability on this floor is so weak, it's gonna come up with no problem because of that right there. Um, so this is literally just gonna rip right through it. I don't really have to put too much, you know, manual power behind it um, with the hammer and a, uh, a crowbar. 
invest in your company, invest in your guys, get them some power tools to make the job easier. This is the Bosch one. The Bosch Bulldog Extreme. This baby right here kicks ass. I gotta find a stud. I don't wanna keep putting holes in this wall. Not that it really matters because it's gonna have to come out regardless. Which actually, what I'm thinking about doing is maybe cutting this wall right here. Maybe when I get this down, cutting this wall completely out and just trying to get it out in one piece. I could try to do that, but we're gonna, I'm trying to see if I can. See guys, you see how this wall is starting to, you can see the wall starting to come out, right? Instead of being a little young stud, I get it, you want to demo, you want to get your hormones out, cool. But you want to make it easy for you when you demo. That's coming out, right? I'm going to start shim shimming this out, little by little. Boom, one big piece, one big piece. Now I'm just gonna sit that to the side. That's just all that less tile that needs to be ripped out. Anybody looking for a 12 by 24 gloss tile? I got one for sale, 10 dollars. I can jack that up. I can jack that up from underneath. What I want to do, so this is going to be a left drain. This drain has to get pushed back. Okay. We're going to jack this up, get it level with the existing joists that are sound. Then we're gonna put some blockers in between, and then we're gonna sister this. One, sister it, two. Oh, and that'll be sound, that'll be perfect. That's what they messed up. It's not too bad once you open it up and you really get to break it down. There it is. and go outside. So 
ultimately this is going to get pushed back up. It's going to get cranked. It's going to get cranked back up. And then sister it. Because we have the, the opposite over there. We're good. Like. I'll do it again when it gets Let me give me give me a good presentation. All right, this is our bottom piece to the uh, shower niche. This is a marble piece, um, you know, half inch. Some good stuff. This is gonna go on the bottom, and we're gonna wrap the rest of the walls in the inside niche. Same thing. Um, we're gonna put this on a slight slant. You never want this to be level because as water, you know, builds up in there. It could just sit there and then eventually it'll seep through your, you know, silicone, your grout. So you always want to have your niche uh, bottom about at a slant. See that? Just that small slant. That way when the water gets in there as you're taking a shower, it just runs off. It doesn't accumulate in there. six, seven years now, and every year, every month, every job, I learn something new. Uh, but one of the biggest things that I made a transition to that really made a lot of my work effective and um, a lot more clean and just top of the line detail to work is converting from a wet towel cutter to a dry towel cutter. Um, I know a lot of you know towel men uh, love to use the wet towel cutter, but for a lot of these job sites, it's not needed. It's just an extra equipment that you got to haul around. It makes a lot of mess if you don't have like a tent that you put your towel cutter in. With a dry cutter, they range from different sizes. You can get one three feet, four feet, two feet. Um, it's really preference. Um, so I just want to show you guys how quick you know this process is. So I'm literally going to grab a few towels, measure where I want. Just making a mark. Now I'm just going to take it over instead of going outside, wasting that time. I want to take it over here. Where my line's at. I'm going to take the score, the blade, and just score it. That simple, guys. You're already, you're probably outside turning on your towel cutter, getting this set up right now as I'm about to install them.
it's never a guarantee at all that your products from wherever you order them from it's going to not be defective. Um, some of them might come, if you're getting uh, an appliance, you can have a dent. If you're getting um, a mirror a cabinet on top of your vanity, it could have a, a crack in it. Anything, anything. Our situation here is we bought a plumbing fixture online off of Amazon and this O-ring with the two screws, that's supposed to slide out of this mechanism right here, along with this ring. And then I slide this over top of the vanity hole, and then I place this O-ring back and tighten it up underneath the ca uh, countertop. But it, as you guys can see here, there's a, maybe a, inch of a little copper pipe right there and this o-ring is not coming out so i can either bend this in and see if it doesn't break hopefully it doesn't or we just might be shit out of luck so let's let's try it now boom got it out but as you can see guys it's a little bent it's not cool i mean it's nothing supposed to be bent I'm gonna try to bend it, you know, that's, I think that's fine. But yeah, stuff like that gets a little tricky. Um, I highly recommend if you're a contractor that if you're opening up anything that's a special order for your homeowners, that you open that up when they are there. Because I can tell you from experience, I've opened things up with homeowners there and the special order item is, is damaged and it has to get returned. If they're not there and they don't see the process of you opening it up fresh um, and unwrapping everything and really inspecting it before you install, they can't go back and say you did it. And you might have to pay for the damages. Um, let's say if the manufacturers don't return the product, you're going to be hit with that. So it's always uh, my advice to make sure that somebody that's you know supervising the job on the homeowner's side is there when you unwrap your uh, special order products when they come in. That doesn't like... So, boom.
wanted to give you guys a background story on this project. It hits home. My cousin was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2020, right before COVID hit. It was a tough time for everyone. This project, I really wanted to take uh, full control of it and do magic and do something I've never done. I really wanted to test my skills. I wanted to test my knowledge and really just give my cousin a bathroom that would just really just make a wow factor and give her everything she ever wanted in a bathroom. I have here her husband, Angel. He's gonna give you a little bit of an insight on what he's gone through in the last year, year and a half, and the process and his feedback on the bathroom. How y'all doing? Um, yeah, so back in 2020, my wife was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer. So uh, one of the issues she had definitely when after having uh, her surgery was definitely showering. And the shower, I bought the property back in 2019. One of our main concerns was and goal was to remodel that bathroom, but you know, funds came low, things happened. So I never got back to it. So last year, in 2020, when she got the surgery, you know, it was very difficult for her to basically shower in her conditions that she was in. So, you know, I met with uh, Ronaldo back in, over this few months ago in the summer, we had talked and um, he definitely wanted to tackle down the project and, and, and make things happen. And he did a phenomenal job. I mean, trustworthy, here every day, on time, and just really just, the bathroom was just, I love it, it's great. He did exactly what he said he was gonna do. Definitely, um, going into this project, um, Angel definitely had a lot of concerns um, with the structure and the flooring, um, just the overall condition. But over, you know, with my experience, I knew this project, um, nothing was gonna get in the way of me doing the best job I could possibly do as a contractor. I wanna thank everybody, all the breast cancer survivors. You guys are important, you guys are heroes, you guys are brave, you guys are true inspirations to everybody in the world for what you guys go through on a daily basis. We love you guys and we stand by you guys. If you guys could, like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel and please do what you can to make sure everyone around you is feeling okay. Give a helping hand and just make sure you do what you can in your ability to make someone's day, period. This is all the one, Ronaldo, take care.